Hi guys, welcome to Off the Tent. My name is Chris, and today with another random beer here and there before we start going back into a themed week for another brewery next week, we're going to end this week with a beer that I've always wanted to try. Um, this is a variant of the beer I've always wanted to try, so I guess close enough. Uh, today, from the Great Divide Brewing out of Colorado, I believe. Um, yeah, out of Denver. The Great Divide Brewing Company out of Denver, Colorado. We are taking a look at the Mexican chocolate variant of Yeti. All right, so this is an Imperial Stout. Uh, I'm excited to have this one. Uh, Mexican chocolate, uh, it's spicy. It's supposed to be a little bit spicy, so we're gonna see what this beer is all about. But first, let's take a look at the can right here. All right, like I said, from Great Divide, we're taking a look at Yeti. This is the Mexican chocolate variant. Um, it's coming in at 9.5% on the can. But there's a sticker from the LCBO that's saying it's actually 8.3%. So I don't even know what to believe, but it really doesn't matter. It's an Imperial Stout, like I said. Uh, it's coming in a 569 milliliter can. And yeah, I'm excited to have this one. Mexican chocolate all day, sons. Um, I hope. We'll see. Uh, contains barley, it says. Okay, sure. It's just only barley. I'm drinking barley only. And that'd be awesome. But let's open up this can right now. Please don't explode. Perfect. All right, did not even put this in the fridge. Pick this up, surprisingly, at the LCBO. Oh, and that's pouring out like used motor oil, but it's not pitch black, but it's coming off as pitch black. So, a little bit in there. Yeah, so like I said, there's a, there's a sticker on the side here. It says it's... 8.3% from the LCBO, but the can says it's 9.5%. I'm going to go with the can on this one, unless they screwed up somehow, but yeah, I can smell this from a mile away. Let's take a look at it. It did pour off with a khaki kind of head. It all fizzed away like Coca-Cola to nothing on top. There's just a, not even a thin film. Weird. Let's take a smell. Oh yeah, it's spicy. You got all kinds of, all kinds of spice. Don't pick a hushy. Oh yeah, there's a huge chocolate and coffee note on this one, but there's a bit of a cinnamon smell on this one, which is good. And some kind of spices in there, some kind of hot spices. Uh, hopefully this is going to be good. We'll see. Yeah, anyway, it did pour off black though, but not really black. It's really, really dark brown. It's coming off on camera. I can't even do this because it's not really going to make a difference, but I want to drink this one. So cheers. Okay, let's talk about the ABV. Whether it's nine and a half or 8.3%, you can't tell. You cannot tell. There's no burning going down the throat on this one. No chest warming whatsoever so far that I'm getting at all. These guys at Great Divide, they're hiding the alcohol very well in this beer. And I like that. That's classifying this as a dangerous beer, right, Guy? But, uh, Yeah, no chest warming, no burning. There's the spiciness that's, that I'll talk about in a second, but from an alcohol standpoint, nothing burning down the throat, which is kind of cool and kind of nice. Now let's talk about the body on this one. At nine and a half or 8.3%, it's thin. It's, I wanted this thing to have a little bit more of a heft to it. I wanted a bigger body on this beer. It's not there. I kind of thought that was gonna happen once the head fizzed all away and, and it disappeared on me, I was like, oh shit, this is gonna be thin. And I was right, it is thin. Uh, it's pouring, it's coming out as a, it's straight up medium. But like I said, I kind of wanted this one to have a bigger body on it, but it doesn't. And you know, it really doesn't affect the taste. The body, it really doesn't affect the taste. So let's talk about what I do taste on this beer. The spices are coming through. Like I'm Italian right now. The spices are coming through. You don't believe it. But I don't want to do a Mexican thing because, you know, somebody's going to 
rat me out. So no Mexican accent. I'll just do an Italian accent because why not? Um, the spices that are coming through, it's kind of like that, that hot chili kind of chili spice kind of taste on this one. You're also picking up a lot, a little bit of cinnamon like I had on the nose. It's kind of dialed back now, but the, uh, the chocolate and the coffee is coming through as well. Everything that I had on the nose is coming through on the taste. Um, there is another thing that I am picking up on the taste though. Yeah, it's definitely there. There's a vanilla hint on this one. And it's actually nice because it's sweet and sweet. It's making this one a little bit sweeter to balance out with that hot, spicy, chili kind of taste in it. I'm not a huge fan of, of, of spicy beers, you guys know this, but this one, it's okay. The balance is good on this beer when it comes to the spice and the, and the sweetness. It balances out. It's, it starts off, you start, take a sip, you get right away you get hit with those chili peppers and, and that hot spices that are in it. Then it, come, it kind of sweetens out with that little bit of that vanilla, that chocolate, the coffee, a little bit of bitterness as well in the middle of the palate. And at the very end, a very slight drying finish on this one. Um, I don't know. I, I was reading some untapped reviews on this one, and I think Jeff, aka No Jinx, was saying that this was too dry for him. I don't know, but that review was back in 2019, I believe. But this one, yeah, this is good. I like. I enjoy this beer. Now, if I was to rate this beer, I would probably knock it down for being too thin. And I, you know, I can just believe that the, the reason that it is a little bit too thin is probably because of all the adjuncts, the adjuncts that they're adding into the beer. Thin, thin, thinning it out, thinning, I can't even talk, thinning it out for sure. Anyway, guys, in my own opinion, if you can go and find this at the LCBO, I picked this one up in Niagara Falls on Ferry Street. The Mexican Chocolate yeti it is definitely worth checking out it, it is a little bit pricey i think this is over seven dollars a can but whatever i was going to buy two of them but then i asked how much is it because i couldn't see the actual price when it was on the shelf but it was over seven bucks i'm like i'll just have one thank you we're in a pandemic anyway guys if you like the video click the like button down below and if you want subscribe hit that notification i'll talk to you guys later that's right and next week we're doing a brewery all week got four beers and them. but anyway peace out guys you guys have fun have a good weekend bye bye